Good evening, everyone. It's Youth Night. You hear me, Sammy? I hear you. 10 4. It's Youth Night on CSN tonight. We've got a, boy, what a turnout by the rec department this evening. There you see uh, all the little ones running out to the left field corner is his traditional. Indians run out every game, Sammy. We got a boatload of kids out here tonight. Oh, yeah, a lot, a lot of little Indians out there gathered over the team over in left field. Youngins are fired up. Future Indians and maidens over there in the corner. Sam, it's a big night tonight. Swamp War here in C on uh, Indian Field as well. Yeah, big region game uh, between the Indians and Panthers. Uh, Indians come in tonight's game leading the region. They're 11-0, and, and Clinch comes in in third place. Currently it's seven and seven, so a big region game. Clinch right now sitting at third. Uh, you, you sent me the uh, region standings a moment ago. They're sitting at third at seven and seven in the region, thirteen and eleven overall. So they've uh, they've turned things around. They started off kind of sluggish, but they've uh, they've come back to get that third spot so far. Yeah, I think the last time we faced them, they were might have been in third, uh, fourth place last time we faced them. So they've they're playing good ball now. We're moving on up to standings. Lanier sitting in that second spot at nine and three, and our Indians at eleven and zero in the region right now, eighteen and one overall. So the tribe's having a good year. Yeah, uh, Clinch currently seven games behind the Indians in the region. Uh, you know, three game series this week could very well be within uh, four games if they can come in and you know sweep these three games, or it could be down even further than what they are now. So a big region game, for, especially more for Clinch than Charlton, but a big game. Well, we have one more, one more week, right? One, two more weeks. Two more, I think. Yep. Two more weeks. So <laughs> these standings could change in a blink of a oh, week. Oh yeah, definitely. Yep. <laughs> What's interesting is Eccles and Echo too at the bottom down there. They're battling for that force. Well, yep. all three of them are really battling for the four seed. Yeah. With uh, Clinch being just one game ahead of Eccles, and just two ahead of uh, Echo. So the whole thing could change in a week. Oh, yeah. The, the way yeah. these series are yep. going. All right. Looks like the uh, umpire meeting at home paint has concluded, so we should be coming up on player introductions and the national anthem here in just a moment. JV lost earlier this evening, Sammy, uh, before you got here, that 9-1 to one in six. It was called due to time, you know. Right. Yeah. We didn't do an MCA thing tonight. <laughs> we played two and a half hours of JV baseball last week during spring go. break. Right. Well, while we're waiting on the uh, player introduction, I'll get started. Let's see if I can get that, get a shot of these kids in the dugout here. There's a bunch in there, Sammy. There is, and they're getting ready. They've already ran out to the left field with the traditional Indians, what they do before pregame, and now they'll, for sure, they'll run out several different kids with each player to each position once the uh, player introduction starts. I have the uh, camera right now, Sammy. I've got the camera on uh, Joel Shiver, Recreation Director here in Charlton County. He's done a good job with the rec department since he took over. He has done a really good job, really good job. Like the men in blue have made their way to the field. Well, I thought they had already done the. I had the camera over here on the kids. I thought they were doing the umpire meeting while we had the camera nah. over here. Now nah, they hadn't done that yet. Hadn't done it yet. <clears throat> Getting ready for the coaches meeting at home plate. Sammy, you and I took the night off last night. I watched uh, grandson play a little rec ball, but the Indians went over to Atco and took care of business again, 14 to two. They did. I watched a little bit on, a little bit of that on the CSN uh, yeah, I live saw feed. That. So, I, yeah. that wasn't us officially now. Though I want to, I want to get that out there. Stephanie does work for us on the photography side, but that was a parent that was doing that Facebook live stream last night. And we appreciate her doing that. That wasn't sure. CSN per se. We even had a little bit of commentating during the game, so that yeah. was good. <laughs> I just want to get the legality of that yeah. out right now. <laughs> but now, last time we went to Echo, our parents shared on our page 
an echo parrot that was Facebook live and too. So yeah. we're not the only one, you know. So. Well, it's, it's, you know, it's just absolutely ridiculous. It has to come down to that to begin with. But I won't speak no further on that situation. Good crowd in here tonight. There is. It's a beautiful night for yep. some baseball. Got a lot of Clinch County fans here as well. A little breezy, but beautiful evening for some baseball. Field looks good, as always. Yep. Big night around the ballpark, too. Uh, spring practice is getting cranked up over there. Got a little tennis going on over here. Tennis region, court. region tennis championship yep. behind us. And I texted Coach Hawkins a while ago with, with Charlton Tennis. He's going to let me know the results when they're done over there. Okay. I have tried to cover a tennis match before over there, and it's almost impossible because there's, <laughs> there's no uh, – they keep the scores by the nets. Yes. And there's no way to, to keep track. I mean, I did it one time. I said, man, I don't know if I can ever try this again or not. <laughs> They got like six courts going over there. Yeah. Oh, One man, time. it was That's rough. Right. I did try, though. Yeah, yeah go ahead. I thought I sent them to you. No, you'll be going to get do them. Yeah, go ahead if you want to. All right, here's your starting lineups for both teams tonight. For Clinch County, leading off a shortstop, Christian leading off in left field, Deterius Adams, batting second and playing center field, Jordan Gatlin, batting third and playing shortstop, Cade Griffiths, <coughs> batting fourth and playing first base, Levi Corbett, batting fifth and playing third, Tate Denmark, batting sixth and playing right field, Taylor Kennedy, batting seventh and playing second, Maddox Allen, batting eighth and catching, Watts Forner. And batting ninth and on the mound for the Clinch County Panthers tonight, Jacob Delk. I'll give you the Indians lineup right after player introduction. Sammy, y'all forgive me tonight. I'm going to remain sitting during the anthem so I can get all these kids in these shots. So I'm not being disrespectful, Charlton fans or Clinch. I'm just staying seated so I can get all these kids in these shots.
Nicely done by the Indians, as always. Y'all don't send me an email saying Adam was being disrespectful tonight because that's wasn't what I was doing when I was trying to get these kids. That was a bunch of kids, man. A lot of them, yep. <laughs> a bunch of kids. Good job. What you look for out of the tribe tonight, Sammy? Well, just continue to do what they're doing. You know, playing good defense, um, scoring a lot of runs, and continue to get pitching on the mound. That ought to be a good game, Swamp War. You never know what's going to happen in Swamp War anyway. You never know. I'm going to go ahead and go over to the Indians lineup real quick before you leading off and playing center field, David Walters. Batting second and playing right field, Cole Crawford. Batting third and playing shortstop, Griffin Thomas. Batting fourth and playing first, Colton Cruz. Batting fifth and catching tonight, Eli Hobbs. Batting sixth and playing second, Hayes Johnson. Batting seventh on the mound, Ethan Crawford. Batting eighth and left field, Isaiah Baker. And batting ninth at third base, Cheese Roden. That's your lineups for both teams. They must have had 100 kids out there, haven't they? Close to it. Oh, a bunch. Good turnout by the rec department. And is going to be in their white uniforms, white bottles, white tops, black numbers, and the shirts trimmed in red with Indians across the chest, black hats. And Clinch will be in the white bottles with their red tops and red hats. Uh, Sammy, you got the call, boss. All right, number one, Ethan Crawford has finished this warm-up toss and we're getting set to go. Leading off for clinch, number six, Terrius Adams. Coffins, Crawford set, ready to go. First pitch is in for a strike. Oh, one. A one pitch, a sharper toward first fielder there by Colton Cruz on a great play. He'll tag it back for round number one. That'll bring up number two, Jordan Gatlin. Number two, Jordan. Defensively for the Indians, left to right, Isaiah Baker in the left, David Walters in center, Cole Crawford over in right. Ford mentioned Crawford on the mound, Eli Hiles behind the plate. First pitch to Gatlin is outside at first base, Colton Cruz at second base, Hayes Johnson, shortstop Griffin Thomas, and third base, Chase Roden. One and one on Gatlin. One on pitch, swung on, hit in the air over toward right, Crawford over toward that line. He makes a great running catch over there. Right at the foul line for round number two. Now 
So a two down, I bring up number 13, Cade Griffiths. So two really good defensive plays. Start the ball game for the Indians. Sharp hit ball to first and a line drive to right field. They were both made for the outs. First pitch to Griffiths, swung on. Hit high and deep down to the left side. And that ball is out of here. Her solo homer for Kay Griffiths. To give the Panthers a one nothing lead here in the first. So Griffiths jumped all over that fastball from Crawford and hit it out of here. That'll bring up number seven, Levi Corbett. Two down, base is empty. First pitch is foul back, 0-1. Oh, one to Corbett, a little high, one and one. One, one pitch called strike, one and two. One, two pitch, curve, he's swung to miss, dropped by Hobbs, he'll pick it up. Throw down to first for right number three. The Panthers get one on a solo homer from Cade Griffiths. Go to the bottom of first. Panthers lead at one to nothing. We'll be right back after this. Remember to shop local and support the folks that support your youth. Allen Aldridge Insurance, located in Kingsland, Georgia, is proud to serve the communities of Charlton and Candom counties, offering life, home, car, and business insurance. See Andy Gowan today for your insurance needs. Phone 912-729-7600 for more information. Protecting you is what we do. Gowan Aldridge Insurance is a proud sponsor of the Charlton Sports Network. Seasons Floral, located at 4415 2nd Street North in Folkestone, Georgia, has all of your floral needs covered, from Valentine's to birthdays and weddings to life celebrations, proms, special occasions, or just to say you love that someone special. We deliver as well. Call 912-496-7043 and we'll assist you with any floral need at Four Seasons Floral. Back to India Field, Swamp War live from India Field on Youth Night. Sammy? All right, going to the bottom of the first. Panthers lead a one to nothing on a solo homer from Cade Griffiths. On the mound for the Panthers, number 27, Jacob Delk. Leading all for the Indians, number three, David Walters. Defensively for the Panthers from left to right. Adams and left, Jordan Gatlin in center, Taylor Kennedy in right. At third base, Tate Denmark, shortstop Kate Griffiths. At second base, Maddox Allen. At first base, Levi Corbett. Behind the plate, Watts Fortner. And the before mentioned pitcher, Jacob Delk. So Walters will lead it off. First pitch to Walters, it's called strike, 0-1. Oh, oh, 0-1, pitch into the dirt, 1-1. One -on 
Echoes at Turner and Lanier's at Eccles tonight. But I was fixing to look up. <laughs> <laughs> I read your mind. 1-1. One, one. Someone going to hit up towards short. Fielded there by Griffiths. Oh, third throws high. Safe at first. So a great play at shortstop by Griffiths, but couldn't get to Speedy Walters at first. Infield single. That'll bring up number 11, Cole Crawford. Mr. Crawford is in for a strike 0 1. Runner going. Pitch is fouled off at the plate. 0 2. little breeze out here. Blow, wind's blowing a little bit from right field to left field. So anything hit from center to left field is going up in the air is going to have a chance to get out of here. Runner to go on. So we're going to hit to a short. Griffiths fields. Looks a second. Throws the first. For round number one. That'll bring up number eight, Griffin Thomas. A timeout called on the field. Fortner want to go out and talk with Delk. Probably going to tell him to keep an eye on Walters about there at second. After that quick conversation, we're ready to get back to play. First pitch to Griffin is inside, 1-0. Oh. 1-0 pitch. High, 2-0. Oh. Delco turn, he'll fake the second. Two O pitch. Swung on hit over toward first. Allen will go over, he'll field and go to first for out number two. So two down now, running at third. That'll bring up number 13, Colton Cruz. First pitch to Colton is inside, 1-0. One oh pitch. High two and oh. Two oh high and outside, three and oh. Pitches high, ball four. 
So a two-out walk for Colton Cruz. That'll give the Indian runners at first and third now with two outs. And bring up number 16, Eli Hobbs. Fortner trying to give a defensive signal behind the plate for the Panthers. Runner going for first, pitches outside, and be no throw. The Cruz will be at second now with two outs. Walters at third. One and zero on Hobbs. One of the pitches swung on, hit high, and foul out of the play. One on one. One on one pitch. Low, two to one. Two and one on Eli. Here it is. High three and one. Hayes Johnson on deck. <clears throat> three one to Hobbs. So we hit high and here over toward the right side, over toward the first base dugout. Corbett over, backs in, makes the catch about two foot on the grass for right number 30. So Indians leave two here in the bottom of the first. Go to the top of the second. More than nothing, Panthers. We'll be back right after this. Liberty Automotive is located in Folkestone, Georgia at 3488 2nd Street South. We're a full service repair shop with multiple bays to handle anything from an oil change to a major repair. Call today at 912-496-0066 for more information. Justin and the staff can handle it all at Liberty. Liberty is a proud supporter of Charlton's youth. Since 2009, Southeastern Automotive Group has been buying for and selling to most of the franchise dealerships in the area. What if you were able to bypass the big dealerships with the big markups? Buy direct from the supplier. Save thousands of dollars on your next vehicle purchase. Have a trade-in? No problem. With used vehicles in such high demand, Southeastern Automotive Group has dealers ready to buy your trade. If Southeastern Automotive Group doesn't have the perfect vehicle for you, using their vehicle locator program, they will have it shipped in without any hassle or haggling you hate. With over hundreds of thousands of cars available at auctions across the nation, your next vehicle purchase is just a click away. Welcome back to Indian Field, Sammy. All right, going to the top of the second. Clinch County leads it one to nothing. Leading all for the Panthers is number four, Tate Denmark. Panthers scored first in the first inning on a solo homer by Cade Griffiths. Indians got had runners at second, third, and bottom of the first, but nothing doing. Crawford has finished his warm-up tosses, and we're about set to go here in the top of the second. Denmark, Kennedy, and Allen, first three for the Panthers here in the second. Second 
First pitch to Denmark is low, 1-0. No pitch. Must have been outside. Two and zero. Oh. Two zero oh pitch. Check swing. They asked first first place umpire, and he said, "Yes, he did." So two and one. Two one. Grounded over toward first, but foul. Two and two. On the Panther third baseman. Two-two pitch, swung or miss, uh, fouled off at the plate. Still two and two. Time called at the plate. Wow, well, Denmark's back in, ready to go. Two and two. Curve, swung and miss for strike three. Good breaking ball by Ethan Crawford. Record his second strike out of the game. And that'll bring good number 15, Taylor Kennedy. First pitch to Kennedy. Oh, that got him in the back. That'll be a hit by a pitch. Kennedy will be up first. And that'll bring good number 12, Maddox Allen. First pitch is low, 1-0. Good job by Eli Batner behind the plate, keeping that ball from going to the backstop. 1-0. Watts Fortner on deck. 1-0 pitch, in for a strike, 1-1. One one pitch. We're gonna hit high out here towards center. Walters in about three steps. Makes the catch right number two. And then Marco Christian Kennedy will go scrambling back to first. So we're two down now. That'll bring a number nine, Watts Fortner. Ethan will throw over to first. First pitch is swung on hit foul. Out of play. Two down here in the top of the first. We're running at first. Taylor Kennedy. Time called at the plate. Late call there by the blue. I won the Fortner. Here it is. Breaking ball. Stayed a little high. Took a good pitch him out here. One of one. Sammy, that was a pretty pitch. I thought so myself. 1-1 one, one pitch. Squared the bunt and bunts a foul. So 1-2 and two now on Watts Fortner. One, two, grounded over towards short. 
Fielder there by Chase on the first. In time for round number three. So good play by Chase coming over to his left, fielding and making a good throw to first. Panthers lead one, go to the bottom of the second. One or nothing, Panthers. We'll be right back after this word from our sponsor, Shop Local. Tell them CSN sent you. Pier 6 Seafood and Steakhouse, located at 853 South 6th Street in McClenney, Florida. Steaks cooked to order, seafood just right, fish plates with all the fixings, hamburgers all the way, fries and more. Go see old Salty and tell them CSN sent you. Pier 6 Seafood and Steakhouse. Walker Jones Chevy, expansive inventory, home of the lifetime warranty, and we'll treat you like friends and good neighbors should. Chevy, together let's drive. Walker Jones Chevy, Memorial Drive in Waycross, and online at walkerjoneschevy.com. From the off, welcome back to Indian Field Swamp War, live on CSN. Sammy? All right, going to the bottom of second, Panthers lead at one to nothing. Jacob Dale. Panthers got one in the top of the first, and that's the only run scored in the game so far. Six, seven, and eight do up for the Indians here in the bottom of the second. Leading off will be number 29, Hayes Johnson. Johnson, Crawford, and Baker is your first three. First pitch in for a strike, 0 1. Oh, one pitch, here it is. Swung on miss, 0 oh 2. One one swung on and hit high over toward the second. Allen in and makes the catch for out number one. Now to bring up number one, Ethan Crawford. First pitch to Ethan is high. One and oh. One oh pitch, a little inside, two and oh. Isaiah Baker on deck for the Indians. Two o is swung on a miss. Two and one. <clears throat> Two one pitch. Stayed high. Three and one.
the 3-1 pitch is in for a strike, three and two. Caught the outside corner. Payoff pitch, here it is. Swung on and chopped foul. River toward the Indian dugout. Three, two pitch again. Here it is. So we're going to hit high over toward the first base dugout. Corbett over, take a look at it, and it'll be out of play. So we'll have another three, two pitch to the Indian starting pitcher. Three two pitch, swung on a hit down the right side foul. Another three two pitch, here it is. Swung on a hit foul down the left side this time. Man, straighten that one out. The 3-2 pitch, here it is. Swung on, hit down the left side again, but foul. We'll do it again. 3-2 pitch, low, ball four. So Crawford wins that battle. He'll be at first now with one out. That'll bring a number five, Isaiah Baker. And we're going to have a runner for Crawford. Get that name, see if I can see a number. Brantley Nettles will come on and run for Ethan Crawford. Nettles at first. That's going to bring up Isaiah Baker. Throw to first. Nettles back safe. First pitch to Baker. Swung on. Hit up to the left. That's going to get in for a hit. Adams over to cut it off to hold Nettles at second. So a one-out single by Baker will give the Indians runners at first and second now. That'll bring up number 15, Chase Roden. First pitch to Chase, swung on and fouled off at the plate. Oh, one. Corbett playing way in at first, spitting in a bunt. Time called at the plate. A 
That one pitch is outside, one on one. Griffiths and Allen playing double play debt up the middle. Denmark came in to the grass. Now he's backed up a little bit. One and one on Roden. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball. Oh, called strike. That ball looked like it was in the batter's box. Called strike. Wow. One and two on Roden. One two pitch, here it is. Breaking ball outside. That was the same exact pitch as the first last one was. This one's called a ball. So two and two on Chase Roden. Delco turn and fake to the second. Nettles will scamper back. Two two pitch. Swing on a miss. Nettles goes to third. The ball goes out into left field. So he'll score. Roden is automatically out because first base is occupied, but the runners are going. And on the throw in there, Brandon Nettles will score to tie the ball game up one to one. And Baker will go down to second. So with two outs, runner at second now. Get us back to the top of the order, David Walters. Walters swings and misses. Oh, one. A one pitch, little high fly ball here towards center. Gatlin in a few steps and makes the catch right number three. In his lever runner at second, but they do get a run in. Go to the top of the third, all tied at one. We'll be right back. What's up, Sheriff Robert Phillips? Go Indians and go Maidens. Family-owned Valancourt Construction established in 1945. Valancourt is constantly seeking out new markets and opportunities as well as state-of-the-art construction technology. We consider this vital in order to provide value for our customers, career opportunities for our employees, and a bright future for our organization. Valancourt is a proud sponsor of the Charlton Sports Network. It's hot outside, so come cool down at the Chill Zone. Pick from among our many delicious flavors. We specialize in snow cones, but we have such a wide variety of items on our menu, you can satisfy just about any craving at the Chill Zone. The Chill Zone is mobile, so wherever you may find yourself with the need to keep your cool, just look for that bright yellow Chill Zone mobile and come cool down at the Chill Zone. Tied up in the third, Sammy. All right, leading off the third for the Panthers will be Jacob Delk, then back to the top of the order, Deterius Adams and Jordan Gatlin. Ethan Crawford still on the mound for the Indians. Panthers got a run in the top of the first. Indians get one in the bottom of the second. All tied at one. First pitch to Delk is swung on a miss. Oh, one. one two 
0-1 pitch right down the middle. Good fastball from Ethan. 0-2. Dick will call time and step out a minute. Now he's back in ready to go. 0-2 pitch. Call strike three. Got him looking. One down. We will go back to the top of the order. Number six, Datarius Adams. Adams Adam granted out in the first, back in the first inning. 0 for 1. Hit one sharply over toward first that Colton made a great play on. First pitch to him is swung on and fouled off behind the plate. Eli will go back and take a look at it, but it'll go into the bleachers. Out of play. Oh, one. Oh, one on Adams. Down low, one on one. One one pitch in for a strike. One and two. One two pitch. Breaking ball. Stayed a little high. Two and two. It's a lot of strikes called at the bottom of the strike zone by the umpire, but not a whole lot at the top. Two two outside. Three and two. Time called at the plate. Three two pitch. Here it is. Grand River towards short. Griffin fields. Sidearm throws the first. In time for the out. So good play by Griffin Thomas on a fast runner. Slow grounder to short. Griffin charged, fielded, and made a good third to first. So with two outs, that'll bring up number two, Jordan Gatlin. Gatlin flew out to right back in the first on a great run and play by Cole Crawford. First pitch to him is in for a strike, 0-1. No one pitch, a little high, one and one. Time called. So the Panthers trying to slow down Nathan a little bit on the mound. One one pitch, called strike, one and two. One, two, curve outside, two and two. Cade Griffiths on deck. Two, two to Gatlin. Call strike three, got him looking. Good pitch by Ethan Crawford. So nothing doing for the Panthers in the top of the third. We'll go to the bottom half, still tied at one. Watching Indians baseball on CSN. We'll be right back. In your time of need, give Rob Robertson a call at 912-496-7388. Shepherd Robertson Funeral Home says go Indians.
ESP Specialist of Fabrication is located at 169 Little Phoebe Church Road in Folkestone, Georgia. President Mark Pickering and his employees utilize the latest technology with a skilled workforce to supply customers with the best custom fabrication possible. Serving clients at home and abroad makes ESP a premier employer in Charlton County. For all your specialty and fabrication needs, contact ESP at 912-496-2583 today. They're also on Facebook at ESP Specialist Fabrication. ESP is a proud sponsor of Charlton Sportsnet. We'll treat you like good friends and neighbors should at the home of a lifetime warranty, Walker Jones Chevrolet. Memorial Drive in Waycross and online at walkerjoneschevy.com. Chevy, together let's drive. Walker Jones Chevrolet. Skeleton Electric Service. Welcome back to Indian Field Swamp War and Youth Night. Yeah, we're all tied up at one bottom of the third. Sammy? All right, leading off for the Indians here in the third will be Cole Crawford, followed by Griffin Thomas and Colton Cruz. All tied at one. Cole granted out to short back in the first. Jacob Delk still on the mound for the Panthers. First pitch to Crawford has swung on and hit high over behind in this dugout. Out of play. Oh, one. Oh, one pitch is one on a miss. Oh, and two. <clears throat> oh, two to Cole. Breaking ball stayed high, one and two. Panthers playing cold to uh, pool. A lot of room down that right field line. If he hits one that way, he'll run for a while. One, two, swung on and hit high down the left side, but out of play. One, two again. Down low, two and two. Two, two pitch, swung on and chopped foul. So counter remain two and two. Two two pitch order by third. It's gonna get right through the glove of Denmark. Cole around first, take a look at second, but he'll stay there. So Cole will be up first on the air by Denmark. That'll bring up number eight, Griffin Thomas. Griffin granted out to second back in the first inning. Cole hit it hard, and Denmark couldn't field it. Let's we'll see if Coach Marshman wants to play a little small ball here with Griffin at the plate. Runner going. Pitch is high. Throw down to second, and not in time. So a stolen base for Cole Crawford. And he'll be at second now with nobody out. Dale Cole turn and fake the second. Griffin squares, bunts, lays it down. Good bunt. Right back to the pitcher. Dale Cole field on third and first. Safe at first. And that's going to bring out Coach Douglas from the Panthers. 
Bang, bang, play at first. Griffin beat it out. And Cole will move over to third on the play. And I think Coach Douglas wants the base umpire to ask the home plate umpire his opinion on the play at first. I think that's the correct call. I don't think they're going to overrule it. It was bang, bang for sure. We're going to, we have to turn on our instant replay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you got me on that one. I don't have it turned on tonight. I guess I should have. Uh, they're going to stick with the safe call at first. So first and third now for the Indians. Nobody out. Now to bring up number 13, Colton Cruz. Colton walked and was stranded at second back in the first. But the fans at home can scroll back. Yeah, that's right. And they, they can, can let they us can know. Yep. You can watch the replay yourselves at home. Mr. Colton is outside, 1-0. Oh. It's a good job by Delk on that bunt to get to the ball and make it close at first. But Griffin just beat it out. 1-0 oh, Mr. Colton is swung on hit high behind the plate. Fulton returns and makes the catch for round number one. One down. Got to bring up number 16, Eli Hobbs. <laughs> Eli popped out the first, back in the first. <laughs> See if Eli can get that runner in. Number third, Griffin going at first. Pitch is high. Throw down a bouncer. Almost like Fortner was trying to get it back to Delk, but Delk didn't catch it, and luckily, Allen was heads up to come in and make the play to keep Crawford at third. So second and third now, one out. Mr. Eli is caught strike. One and one. Eli can drive that outside pitch down the right field line. He can run forever, too. Kennedy way over toward left. Pitch to Eli low. Nice job by Watts Fortner behind the plate. Saved a run right there. Two and one on Hobbs. Pitch to Eli, swung on, hit high, over toward the Indians dugout. Denmark will take a look at it, but it'll be out of play. Two and two now on Eli Hobbs. Runners get their lead. 2-2 two -two pitch to Eli. Swung on and popped out of play. Still 2-2. Two and two. <clears throat> two, two to Eli. Swung on a miss, strike three. Good pitch by Jacob Delk to get Hobbs swinging. So now with two outs. Runner still at second and third. That'll bring in number 29, Hayes Johnson. Hayes popped out to second, back in the second. So if any is going to get anything here in the third, it's going to take a two-out hit. 
First pitch is outside, I want to know. Big, big strikeout there for Jacob Delk. Runners at second and third, and only one out. One oh pitch is outside, two and oh. Two oh pitch inside, three and oh. That almost got Hayes. Ethan Crawford on deck. Three-o pitch won't be made. Delco step off and take a look at second. Three-o pitch in for strike. Three and one. What was that? Three-one. Swan a miss. Three and two. So Delk, a strike out of the way from getting out of this inning. Three, two, fouled off. Still three and two. Three to the Hayes is fouled off down the right side. Another three two pitch to Hayes Johnson. Here it is. Swung on, hit high, short center field. Griffins will back Griffins will back up and make the catch about 10 feet on the grass. So Indians leave runners at second and third here in the third. Nothing doing. Go to the top of the four. Still tied at one. We'll be back right after this. Please remember to shop local and support the folks that support your kids and tell them CSN sent you. Charlton and surrounding counties with over 20 years experience in both commercial and residential services. Our electricians can meet your needs. We offer installation on whole house generators, service upgrades for mobile home services, troubleshooting, ceiling fan and light fixtures, and much more. Call us today for an estimate, 912-496-4528. West Buxton Auto Supply is a proud sponsor of Charlton Sports. For all of your auto and big truck needs, go by and see Sammy and his staff today. They have everything from lawnmower blades to parts for big rigs and heavy equipment. Clark West Folkestone Auto Supply is located at 4439 2nd Street in Folkestone, Georgia. For all of your parts and accessories, it's Clark West Folkestone. Go Indians! Welcome back to Indian Field. Still tied at one. Sammy, halfway through. What you think, man? Good ball game so far. Good pitching. Uh, both uh, teams getting runners on base, but can't get a big hit to get runners in. So tied at one. And the lights are on. The lights are on. See what happens now. Leading off the fourth for the Panthers will be three, four, and five. Griffiths, Corbett, and Denmark. Can't find any updates on the other region games right now. I checked Max Preps a moment ago. There was nothing up yet. Just says in progress. I guess LCN didn't go to Eccles because I didn't see an alert from them gotcha. tonight. All right, leading off for the Panthers in the fourth will be number 13, Cade Griffiths. Griffiths got the score and started back in the first inning on a solo homer. First pitch is low, 1 0. Oh. 
Two and oh. Three and oh on Griffiths. Three up here, swung on, hit deep the left field again. That ball's going to be way out of here. The Griffiths with his second home run of the game will give the Panthers a lead back, two to one. He picked on that 3 yo pitch and hit a way out of here. He went all after that 3-0 pitch, didn't he? And Coach Marchman is going to come over and speak with the home plate umpire about something. Not sure what that little short conversation was about, but it was short, and Coach Marchman has gone back to the dugout. To bring up number seven, Levi Corbett for the Panthers. Corbett struck out back in the first. Two and oh. Two oh pitch. High and outside, three and oh. And Eli's going to call time and come out and talk with Ethan. <coughs> Three and zero on Corbett. Three up pitch, swung on hit, right back in the middle. Ethan the field, jog over toward first and throw for round number one. That's going to bring up number four, Tate Denmark. Denmark struck out back in the second. Must have been outside. Oh, one and oh. Two and oh. Two oh pitch. Down low, three and oh. So Ethan's gone three and zero on back-to-back -back batters. In for a strike, three and one. Taylor Kennedy on deck for the Panthers. Three one pitch, one on a miss, three and two. Three two pitch, chalked it toward the third. Oh, and he gets by Roden. And Denmark's going to reach on an arrow. So he'll be at first now with one out. That'll bring up number 15, Taylor Kennedy. Kennedy was hit by a pitch back in the second. Stranded at first. We're going to have a runner come in for Denmark.
Bunner toward first, Colton with field. They're going to call it foul. Zaylin Blank on the run for Denmark. I wouldn't want on Kennedy. Swung on a miss, I wouldn't too. No two pitches high. One and two. One-two pitch, swung on a miss. That runner's out. If, uh, the batter's out. First base occupied. Now they're going to get Blank in a rundown. And he's tagged out for out number three. So nothing doing for the Panthers after the long solo home run by Cade Griffiths, his second of the game. Go to the bottom of fourth. Panthers lead it two to one. We'll be back right after this one from our sponsors. For nearly 20 years, Georgia's electric membership cooperatives have made Friday night football electrifying. As the official energy provider of the GHSA, Georgia's EMCs are proud to support high school athletics and the communities we serve. Standing behind every hike, every completed pass, and every team celebration. Because we know that today's high school athletes are tomorrow's local leaders. Georgia's EMCs. Allen Aldridge Insurance, located in Kingsland, Georgia, is proud to serve the communities of Charlton and Candom Counties, offering life, home, car, and business insurance. See Andy Gowan today for your insurance needs. Phone 912-729-7600 for more information. Protecting you is what we do. Gowan Aldridge Insurance is a proud sponsor of the Charlton Sports Network. Welcome back to Indian Field. Two to one, a pair of home runs by the Panthers, and they've got the lead right here in the bottom of the fourth. I mean, the Indians have had their opportunities a few times tonight, just can't get them across the plate. We've gotten one, that's it so far. Yeah, I've had several runners at second and third and haven't been able to get a big hit to get any of them in so far. We're gonna have a new pitcher for the Panthers. Number 13, Cade Griffiths will come on and pitch here in the fourth inning. Big night for Griffiths so far in the game. Two long solo home runs. Leading off for the Indians in the fourth will be number one, Ethan Crawford. Seven, eight, nine here in the fourth. Ethan walked and was ran for by Nettles. Scored. First pitch is in for a strike, 0 oh, 1. A oh, 1 pitch, high. 1 and 1. Number 12, Mattis Allen, a move over from second to shortstop. So I'm going to hit that ball, is going to be down for a hit. So lead off single by Crawford. Now 
That'll bring up Isaiah Baker. Brandon Nettles will come on and run for Crawford. Kennedy will come in from right field and play second now for the Panthers. One to know to Baker. One new pitches in the dirt. Gets away from Fortner back there and Nettles will go to second. And the other defensive change for the Panthers. Jacob Dell will go for the mound. He'll now play in, be in right field. Baker squares, bunts, lays on town third. Good bunt. No Sweet. play. It's a great job by Isaiah, Isaiah Baker land out down the third baseline. Denmark came in, charged it, but had nowhere to go with it. And on the play, Nettles moves over to third. So first and third now, nobody else. That'll bring up number 15, Cheese Roden. First pitch to Chase is in for a strike. That low strike has been there the whole game. Oh, and two. Baker going from first. Griffiths will step off and he will have to play nowhere. So second and third now. See if Chase can get those runners in. That one two on him. Here's the pitch. Someone gonna hit foul. O2 pitch, swung on and hit foul down the right side. Delt going over, and that ball's going to draw fall foul. So Chase just missed a double there. Ooh, to the road again. Here it is. Swung on and chopped foul. Say swings. Barely got a beast of that one to stay alive. Oh, 
He battled. Fouled off. <laughs> Pitch gets away. Brandon's going to come to the plate. He's going to be safe at home. Bradley hesitated for a minute, then decided to go, and was just able to get in before the tag. And Coach Douglas is going to come out and talk with the home plate umpire. Bang, bang, play at the plate. But the umpire said he got in. That'll tie us up two to two. And on the play, Baker moves over to third. And Coach Douglas ain't happy about that call at all. The run scores. We all tied at two. Baker's at third. Nobody out. One and two on Chase Road. And here's the pitch. Yeah, fouled off again. So good battle going on between Griffiths and Roden. One two pitch again. Swan a miss. That ball gets in the dirt. And did he catch it? Did he make the tag? I'm not sure what happened there. He dove for the ball. Did the ball go up in there and then catch it or what? Um, we'll have a conversation by Coach Douglas again. Ford to dove for it out in front of the plate. But I'm not sure if he hit the ground or if he hit his glove and popped up in the air. When he do for it. No sign was given by the home plate umpire. Chase will stay down at first. So the umpires will get together and try to figure out what happened there. Fortner came from behind the plate and dove and grabbed the ball. And like I said, I'm not sure if he hit the ground and popped up or hit him on the glove and popped up. Well, they're going to say he's safe at first. And that's going to bring Coach Douglas out again. And that's going to get the Indians runners at first and third now with nobody out. So we have to go back and watch that one to find out what happened. Chase swung and missed the ball. And Fortner dove for it. I don't know if he hit the ground and then popped up in the air, if he hit Fortner's glove or his glove and went out in front of the plate. But anyhow, they call Chase safe at first. And that's going to get us back to the top of the order now with David Walters. David singled in the first, infield single, and flew out to center in the second. So the first, chase back save. Close play. Roden the first, Baker at third. Pitch to Walters, runner going. David lays a bunt down. Her between the pitcher and the third. Nobody's at third. And everybody's going to be safe. The runs will score. And the Indians will take a 3-2 to two lead. So great job by David Walters. Bunting where nobody was at. And by the time the pitcher or the third baseman got there, they had no play nowhere. 
So Chase will move up to second. Walters will be at first. And we're going to have a timeout. We'll have a coaches meeting on the mound for the Panthers. Two runs in here in the fourth for the Indians. They take a 3-2 to two lead. They're going to have runners at first and second now with nobody out. And that's going to bring up number 11, Cole Crawford. Here we go. First pitch to Cole. Outside, 1-0. Oh. One to Cole. High, 2-0. Two over to crawl for a swung on and hit foul. Over toward the Indians dugout. Two and one. Be a good time for Cole to launch one right here. Two one pitch. Here it is. Outside three and one. Time called at the plate. Three one pitch outside ball four. And that's gonna load them up for the Indians. Roden at third, Walters at second, and Crawford at first. Still no outs here in the fourth inning. Now to bring up number eight, Griffin Thomas. Griffin swings and hits one high here towards center. And three runs are going to score on the play. Crashing two runs are going to score. And Cole's going to be at second now with one out. And one of the Clinton County coaches wants a timeout. I think Clint is saying that somebody didn't tag. Yeah, they call him out. They called the runner second out. David's going to be called out, so only one of those runs will score. So the Indians will have runner at second now with two outs. Only one of those two runs scored. Crawford will be at second. Chase scores to make it 4-2. to two. And Coach Marshall is going to come out and have a conversation with the field umpire. I think the question here might be how can you call oh, yeah. how can you call the um, how can you call the runner out for not tagging second and watching the catch at the same time? Yeah. I think that's probably Coach Marshall's question. You can't watch the catch and see the tag at the same time. No, and the, that's, a, that's and the, impossible. And the home plate umpire can't see the catch either. And Coles will move over to third now on that wild pitch. 
So he'll be a third now with two outs. Colton swings, and this one's high over here. Foul territory by the Indians dugout. And number 12, Taylor Kennedy makes a great catch for out number three. But the Indians get three runs here in the bottom of the fourth. They take a four to two lead and go into the top of the fifth. We'll be back right after this. We, we got ourselves a typical clinch war going on. <laughs> Swamp war. We'll be right back. Four Seasons Floral, located at 4415 2nd Street North in Folkestone, Georgia has all of your floral needs covered from Valentine's to birthdays and weddings to life celebrations, proms, special occasions, or just to say you love that someone special. We deliver as well. Call 912-496-7043 and we'll assist you with any floral need at Four Seasons Floral. Liberty Automotive is located in Folkestone, Georgia at 3488 2nd Street South. Welcome back, y'all. That whole inning was full, full of controversy, wasn't it? It was. <laughs> you gotta love Swamp War. Yeah, you and I were talking about during the break that, uh, the base blue was watching the catch out here at center field. And who made the call that he didn't tag? The base, base blue. Base umpire, yeah. So he can't see both at the same time. There's he no can't way. he can't see the catch. First of all, it was a diving catch, so we did sure couldn't watch that yeah. all the way and see the tag at the same time. So what yeah. should have what should have happened was he should have came out to my opinion is he should have come out and made the call on the catch and the home plate umpire should have watched the tag. Right. Yeah. Going to the top of the fifth inning and leading off for the Panthers will be number 12, Maddox Allen. Allen, Fortner, and Delt, the first three for the Panthers. Allen flew out to center back in the second inning. First pitch is outside, 1-0. Ethan Crawford still in the mound for the Indians. Sammy, that's from Coach. I was on the shot at center, so I wasn't sure. No. You're saying no? no. Okay. No. One one. Fouled off at the plate. One and two. One two pitch in the dirt two and two. You have two two. Two two pitch swung on a hit foul down the left side out of play. Time called at the plate. Allen steps out. Ooh. I'm glad he like caught that. Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> 2 So I'm going to hit foul again out of play. I agree with Coach. I don't see how Blue could have made that call looking outside. out here. Yeah. 
because it was it was an extended diving catch. Well, I mean, he had to have his eye on it. That's probably time. what that's probably what made the thing the umpire said that he left it because he had to dive for the ball, and that's probably what threw everything off. Right. With the umpire. Three two. Call strike three. One down. That'll bring up number nine, Watts Fortner. Fortner grounded out to third. Back in the second. First pitch to Fortner is low, 1-0. One oh pitch in for a strike. Swing and a miss, one and two. One two to Fortner, breaking ball stayed high. Two and two. Two two pitch, get foul. Two two pitch, slow roller out to Griffin is short. He feels throws in time for out number two. That'll bring uh, number twenty seven, Jacob Delk. Delk struck out in his only plate appearance back in the third. Two a pitch foul off two and one. Two one pitch, top route towards short, cut off by Chase. Can't pick it up and throws it away. So Delco reach with two outs. And that'll get us back to the top of the order. Number six, Deterius Adams. Adam over two. Grounded out to the first baseman in the first and shortstop in the third. It looks like we're going to have a pitching change. We'll stay, we'll stay here through the timeout, Sammy. Sammy. Sammy's going back and watching the replay. He's got the game up. <laughs> Number eight, Griffin Thomas will come on the pitch for the Indians here in the fifth inning. And Crawford will go for the mound, the shortstop. You find it? Watch it.
Two more pitches. Runner at first for the Panthers with two outs. Sammy has watched replay it. And what, how, what have you ruled, Sammy? Safe. Safe. Did not leave early. <laughs> All right, Thomas on the mound for the Indians here in the fifth. Jacob Delk at first. He reached on the air. That'll bring a number six to Terrius Adams. Adams over two. First pitch is low, one and oh. We're in the fifth. Indians lead at four to two. One oh to Adams. Swung on a miss. One and one. Now the first, close play, save it first. Eli, I guess that throw down a little bit. He probably got a runner first. Yeah, one and one or zero oh and two. Two one. Two one. Two one. Two one pitch. Swung on hit high in the air toward right field. Cole coming in about five steps. And makes the catch right number three. So the Panthers lead, leave one. Go to the bottom of the fifth, four to two Indians. We'll be back right after this. You're watching Swamp War Indians Baseball on CSN. Great full service repair shop with multiple bays to handle anything from an oil change to a major repair. Call today at 912-496-0066 for more information. Justin and his staff can handle it all at Liberty. Liberty is a proud supporter of Charlton's youth. Since 2009, Southeastern Automotive Group has been buying for and selling to most of the franchise dealerships in the area. What if you were able to bypass the big dealerships with the big markups? Buy direct from the supplier. Save thousands of dollars on your next vehicle purchase. Have a trade-in? No problem. With used vehicles in such high demand, Southeastern Automotive Group has dealers ready to buy your trade. If Southeastern Automotive Group doesn't have the perfect vehicle for you, using their vehicle locator program, they will have it shipped in without any hassle or haggling you hate. With over hundreds of thousands of cars available at auctions across the nation, your next vehicle purchase is just a click away. All right, welcome back to Indian Field. Four to two, bottom of the fifth. Sammy. 40 Indians here in the fifth will be Hobbs, Johnson, and Crawford. Five, six, and seven. Number 13, Cade Griffiths will stay on the mound for the Panthers. He'll be in his second inning of work. Eli 0 for 2. He flew out to the first baseman in the first, and he struck out back in the third. First pitch to Eli. Swung on and hit deep to the left field. And that ball's going to be down. Eli's going to round first, and he'll go to second with a leadoff double. Good start for the Indians here in the fifth. We're going to have a runner for Eli. That's going to be number nine. That's Brody Baker, I believe, for the Indians. Courtesy runner for the Panthers, number nine, Brody Baker. 
So Baker at second, running for Hobbs. That'll bring up Hayes Johnson. Hayes squares and pulls it back, takes the ball high. Hayes is 0 for 2. He flew out to second and popped out to short in two plate appearances. One oh pitch outside two and oh. Corbett at first base is almost halfway to the plate. Kennedy's gonna be covering first, probably on any kind of ground ball. Two and one on Johnson. Our Corbett will back up. He'll be about a step or two on the grass now. 2-1 pitch. Squared again. Bust it down to first base side. Griffiths fields and goes to first for out number one. And on the play, Baker will move over to third. One down. Now to bring a number one, Ethan Crawford. Ethan walked and scored back in the second, and Singleton scored in the fourth. First pitch to him is inside, 1-0. Oh. Baker about halfway down the line, a little check swing. Griffiths Fields on the first for the out and a runner score. So a little check swing by Ethan Crawford, fielded by Griffiths. He'll go to first for the out. And on the play, Brody Baker scored to give the Indians a 5-2 lead. There were two outs. That'll bring up Isaiah Baker. Isaiah two for two, singled in the second, but was stranded at second, and singled and scored in the fourth. And Griffiths may have hurt himself on that play. Coach out to check on him. I got him right on the kneecap. I think he looks like he's favoring his knee or his he'll shin right. there. Yep. He's trying to walk it off. Hopefully he'll be okay. And we're going to have some changes, and we'll try to get those to you here in just a minute. So Griffiths is going to go over towards second. Looks like he's favoring his knee or shin, maybe. Looks like the lefty, number seven, Levi, Levi Corbett, will come on a pitch for the Charlton Panthers. Medical's going to go check yeah. him out. He almost got to the dugout and had a seat. That's uh, 
Obviously, they're checking on the young man before we resume play. I usually can't hear music, but I can hear that tonight. That's not a good sign. I'm going to get copyright, so. New pitcher on the mound for the Panthers. It is. That's going to be Levi Corbett. Number seven. Looks like number eight. Hunter Henderson will come on and play second. Taylor Kennedy will go back to right field. And number 27, Jacob Delk will come on and play first base for the Panthers. Griffiths will, he may stay in the hip, but he'll, he's out of the game defensively right now. All right, Corbett has finished his warm-up tosses. About ready to get back to play. And batting for the Indians, number five, Isaiah Baker. Base is empty. One out. Or oh, question, two outs. First pitch to Isaiah's low, one and oh. One oh pitch is low, two and oh. Two oh pitch, swing and a miss. Two and one. Two one outside three and one. Three one pitch is outside ball four. So two out walk for Baker. That's gonna bring up Chase Roden. Chase is 0 for 2, but was able to reach first on a swing and a miss back in the fourth and scored a run. Breaker going from first, pitch is high. They're down to second and not in time. The ball is going to roll out in the center field, but Isaiah didn't see it in time to get up and go. And he'll be at second now with two outs. One and on Roden. One no pitch. Swing, hit high, down the right side, but foul out of play. One 
One one pitch. Swung on hit. Foul down the right side again. Be over in the Panther bullpen. One and two. Good lead for Baker down the second. Pitch to Chase is swung on a miss. Strike three for round number three. So they end this lead one here in the fifth, but they get one across to extend their lead to five to two, going to the top of the sixth. We'll be back right after this. Pier 6 Seafood and Steakhouse, located at 853 South 6th Street in McClenney, Florida. Steaks cooked to order, seafood just right, fish plates with all the fixings, hamburgers all the way, fries and more. Go see old Salty and tell them CSN sent you. Pier 6 Seafood and Steakhouse. Walker Jones Chevy, expansive inventory, home of the lifetime warranty, and we'll treat you like friends and good neighbors should. Chevy, together let's drive. Walker Jones Chevy, Memorial Drive in Waycross, and online at walkerjoneschevy.com. From the office, welcome back to Indian Field. Five to two, Charlton leads, Swamp War, top of the sixth. It's been a good game, man. Has been, good game. Both teams have played great. And you can't have a swamp war without some controversy. It just doesn't happen. <laughs> uh, Griffin Thomas has completed his warm-up tosses. Leading off the six for the Panthers will be Jordan Gatlin. Gatlin 0 for 2. He flew out to right in the first and struck out in the third. Gatlin... If that's Griffiths on deck and Corbett, the first three for the Panthers. First pitch, I guess a little outside, one and oh. One oh swung on hit high over toward the first base dugout. That'll be out of play. One and one. One one to Gatlin. In the dirt, two and one. Check swing. They asked. First place umpire said no. It's two and one. Three and one. Ball four, so lead off walk for Gatlin. That'll bring up number 13. Now Let me see. Number eight, Hunter. That's number eight, Henderson. Hunter Henderson. Oh, hit for Griffiths. First pitch to Henderson is low, 1-0. So a tough break for Griffiths, leaving the game with an injury. Especially for him at the plate, already with two home runs. Henderson swings and misses, one and one. So hopefully whatever the injury is that he has is not too serious. One and one, Henderson squares the bunt. Pitch, runner going, pitch is low, throw down to second, it's high, goes out into center field. But David Walters is there to back it up to keep Gatlin at second.
Griffin shows Bunn again. Pitch to him is outside. Two and two. Two two pitch. Low three and two. Runner going. Throw down to third. Chase catch it. Now we're going to get Gatlin in the rundown. <clears throat> And Chase will tag him out at shortstop, 40 out. It's a good job by the Indians' defense. Gatlin took off the third. Eli made a great throw down, and Chase done his job and was able to make the tag for out number one. Yeah, three, two count on Henderson. Three two pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Two down. That'll bring up number seven, Levi Corbett. First pitch to Corbett is called strike. Little score update from Major League Baseball. Bottom of the third, Atlanta four, New York zero. Oh, one to Corbett. Inside, I guess, one and one. One one, they got him. It's gonna be a dead ball. So Corbett will be at first now with two outs. That'll bring up number four, Tate Denmark. Now batting number four, Tate Denmark. And Corbett is gonna leave the game. Runner's gonna come in and run for him. First pitch, low, ball's in the dirt. Another high throw from Eli, goes out in the center field. And Walter's there to back the throw up again, lead the runner second. So runner second now with two outs. 1-0 and oh on Denmark. One oh pitch is called strike one and one. One one swung on hit toward right. Cole over to his right and makes a running catch for round number three. So the Panthers will lead one here in the sixth. Nothing else doing. Go to the bottom of the sixth. Indians lead at five to two. You're watching Swamp War on CSN. We'll be back right after this. I'm Sheriff Robert Phillips. Go Indians and go Maidens. Family owned Valancourt Construction established in 1945. Valancourt is constantly seeking out new markets and opportunities as well as state of the art construction technology. We consider this vital in order to provide value for our customers, career opportunities for our employees, 
and a bright future for our organization. Valancourt is a proud sponsor of the Charlton Sports Network. It's hot outside, so come cool down at the Chill Zone. Pick from among our many delicious flavors. We specialize in snow cones, but we have such a wide variety of items on our menu, you can satisfy just about any craving at the Chill Zone. The Chill Zone is mobile, so wherever you may find yourself with the need to keep your cool, just look for that bright yellow Chill Zone mobile and come cool down at the Chill Zone. Welcome back to Indian Field, watching Swamp War. Sammy, we head over to Clinch Friday for a doubleheader. Twin Bill over in Homerville on Friday night. That is correct. Two more big region games. Got the makeup game Thursday, you know the one that got rained out during spring break mm -hmm. with Turner. They rescheduled that for this Thursday at five in Ashburn. All right, leading off the six for the Indians will be the top of the lineup: Walters, Crawford, and Thomas. First fisted Walters at low, 1 0. David is 2 for 3 in the game. Two singles and a fly out. One oh pitch in for a strike, 1 1. Two and one. Two on the Walters. In for a strike. Two and two. Two two pitch, here it is. Curve stayed outside three and two. Three two pitch. So we're gonna hit high over toward the first place dugout, and that's gonna reach the parking lot out of play. Another 3 2 pitch to Walters. Here it is. Swung on and hit foul again. Three two pitch. Call ball four. It's a leadoff walk for Walters. Cole Crawford at the plate now for the Indians. Runner going. Pitch is loaded in the dirt. Be no third to second. Cole grounded out in the first. Reached on the air in the third. And Walton in the fourth. One out to Cole. In for a strike, one and one. One 
One one pitch. Low two and one. Pistol Cole is high and outside. Three and one. Three one pitch. Swung on hit high over down the right side. Over toward that right field line. That's a fair ball. Walters is gonna score. Cole around first and will go to second. That's gonna go to third. The throw there is got him. Called out of third. But a run to score. Cole slid and took the bat bag with him. But one down. Give Cole an RBI. That's going to bring up number eight, Griffin Thomas. All the way to the backstop. One and oh. So we'll score that a double and RBI for Cole. Thrown out trying to go to third. One oh swung on and hit. That ball's gonna go over to a right center. Kennedy cut it off to hold Griffin to a single. That'll bring uh, Colton Cruz. Colton walked in the first and has since flown out twice. Once to the catcher and once to the shortstop. So the first, Griffin back safe. And it's now lead at six to two here in the sixth. Snap to the first, Griffin back safe. Griffin to running, balls in the dirt and go to the backstop. So Griffin will go down to second. He'll be there now with one out. That's some action over in the Panther bullpen, but I can't see a number. Pistol Colton is swung on, hit out here toward the left center. That ball's going to be down. That's going to go all the way to the wall. One runner score. Colton's at second, and he'll go in there with a one out run scoring double. And Indians now lead a 7 to 2. So Cruz the second with one out. That'll bring up Eli Hobbs. First pitch to Eli is high, one and zero. Eli popped out in the first, struck out in the third, and doubled and scored in the fifth. And we're gonna have a timeout. Fortner's gonna come out and speak with Corbett.
One of pitch, swung on and hit high over toward the left field line. And the ball's going to drop fair. I think Denmark lost it up in that black sky up there and couldn't find it. The ball dropped fair. That'll be a single for Eli. And Colton will have to stay at second. Brody Baker will come on the run for Eli. And that'll bring up number 29, Hayes Johnson. First pitch to Hayes, he squares Bunts, lays one down the first baseline, but it rolls foul. One Hayes. You take the ball high. One and one. I got a I got a score update from Turner, Atkinson County sixteen, Turner County three. Wow, okay. So the Rebels that moves them up to six and nine. One and two to Hayes. He squares the bun again. Bunts one up toward first base. Delco Field tossed the first missed and it. missed it. And the run's going to score. Brody's going to round third, and he's going to go to the plate. And we have no play there. They got a Hayes in a rundown. He's going to be safe sliding back into first. So two runs score on the play, and Johnson is safe at first. And he's now leading nine to two. Missed it. He's just going to go to second. He'll be there with one out. Two and oh. Missed it. Head it home. Johnson will score. Make it ten to two. You got 3-1. Three, 3-1 one. Three and one on Crawford. Three one pitch. In for a strike. Three and two. 
Five runs in here in the inning for the Indians. They would open up, opened up a 10 to 2 lead. 3 2 pitch. Ooh, we got all out, hit. but it's going to go foul. Foul. Two pitch, ball four. Sir so Crawford on first now with one out. That'll bring up Isaiah Baker. And we're going to have a timeout called by Clinton County Coach. We're going to stay here during the timeout while he warms up. <clears throat> Man, I've had a brisket in the smoker since 9 o'clock this morning. It's going to be just right. <laughs> <laughs> I timed it out perfect. Come out and get your piece if you want one. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Uh, Sounds good. I started that thing at 9 o'clock this morning. Another score update from Eccles in the sixth inning in the Lanier County nine, Eccles three. Nine to three. Yep. <clears throat> so if that holds, after tonight, Adco would move into the four spot. Eccles would drop to five. Yep. It's going to be a race right to the end, it right is. to the last game, isn't it? This region's wild this year. It all depends on who ends up with who at the end of that, that last week, won't it? Yep. Now pitching for the Panthers, number 23, Carter Griffiths. Isaiah Baker at the plate for the Indians. Throw the first runner back safe. Ethan going second. second. He's going to go in there safely. Safe. So what a note of Baker. <clears throat> one oh pitch outside. Two and oh. Two O pitch, low three and O. Three and one. So after moving right along through about the first five innings, this game has come to a snail's crawl here in the sixth. 
Three and one on Baker. Here's the pitch. So I'm going to here toward the left it. center. That ball's going to get down a roll all the way to the fence. Ethan to score. Isaiah will go to second. He'll stop there with a RBI double. And is now lead at 11 to 2. Runner up second and one out. And that's going to bring up Chase Roden. First pitch of Chase is inside. Chase is due for a big hit here. He's been to the plate three times. Struck out three times, able to reach. Safe with the first on one of them after the catcher dropped the ball. So he's due for a hit here. One and one. Big lead by Isaiah down to second. Pista Chase is inside. Two and one. Base hit will win the ball game right here for the Indians. Two one pitch. So we're gonna hit out towards short. Stop here by the shortstop, but he won't have a Safe. play anywhere. Three, David so a great play out there, short by Allen, but he couldn't get up and make a play nowhere, and Roden was able to beat it out. Well, get us back to the top of the order. David Walters. David started this in and off with a ball. Runner going, pitch swung on, and grounded out the short. It gets off the shortstop. Runs going to score. And that should be your ball game right there. Chase is going to round third to go to the plate. The throw there, and he's going to be tagged out. That should be your ball game right there. And it is Ball with game. Baker scoring. Indians are going to win it. And let's see what we're going to have here. Umpires are going to get there and talk about something. Well, I thought it was a ball game. Officials are holding things up. I'm not sure what he's signaling there but that we should still got be. the 12 before the out well that was only yeah. all right that is the ball game with your final score Charlton County 12 Clinch County 2 just a reminder that these teams will play a doubleheader on Friday starting at 4.30 over in Homerville. Man, even the Indian had a controversy. <laughs> hey, y'all, Sammy Hendricks going to have our stats wrap-up here in just a moment. And then next time we will see y'all will be, I'm planning on Thursday in Ashburn at 5 o'clock. Thank y'all for watching. Indians win this one 12 to 2. Stick around for just a moment. Sammy's over there. Got the calculator going. You ready? All right, here's Sammy Hendricks with a post game wrap up. All right, for the Panthers, two runs on three hits and two errors. Two runs, three hits, and two errors for the Indians. 12 runs on 14 hits and one error. 12 runs, 14 hits, and one error. Winning pitcher tonight is number one, Ethan Crawford for the Indians. Losing pitcher is number 27, Jacob Delp. Indians win it big, 12 to two. All right. Y'all have a great night. Appreciate you watching Swamp War and Youth Night on CSN. We'll see you Thursday from Ashburn.